There is a debate tonight over the future of a golf course that's been a fixture in East Providence for decades. A group of investors bought the Metacomet Golf Club last year. Recently, the investors announced plans to sell the course to a developer. As Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer tells us, some people are not happy about that. Well, according to the city, Marshall Properties proposed building retail, residential and office space and a hotel here. But some area residents I spoke to say it would disrupt the quiet area. Marshall Properties calls the possible development to Metacomet Golf Club a transformational economic project for East Providence. But Lynn Miller calls it unreasonable. We don't have many open areas here now to put what they want to put, it just, it's unacceptable. The lifelong East Providence resident created an online petition demanding no commercial building on the 138 acre land. The petition gaining attention with 1100 signatures. First of all, we're trying to get the, the area aware of what's going on because nobody knew this was happening until the people who live within the 200 foot radius they receive their uh, registered letters. Marshall Properties tells us more than 30 acres of the land would be reserved for open space, including walking trails. In a statement sent to Eyewitness News, the Pawtucket-based developer says, quote, the current use has not allowed most city residents the opportunity to access, use, and fully enjoy the property and its pristine views. Marshall Development will continue to partner with the City of East Providence to redevelop the property in a meaningful way that will unlock this gem in an effort to create benefits for the entire community. Kristen Kroll moved to East Providence 10 years ago and chose the area for the close proximity to Bayview and Metacomet. Her family joined the golf club last year and says losing the course would be unfortunate. It's 93 acres of lost green space. If this becomes a throughway to another commercial space, um, I think it could bring down property values. It's a famous uh, golf course built by Donald Ross. And so I just think it's a loss of history and a loss of culture. And the East Providence City Council is scheduled to discuss the possible development at their Tuesday night meeting starting at 6 p.m. In East Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.